what's up youtube in today's video i'm going to show you how to be borderline good at gtc online so don't forget to smash that like button smash that sub button and drop a comment thanks i don't know why my guy isn't doing an emote right now i don't think i have it set to anything but yeah i'm going to show you guys how to be uh better than the average gt online player so the first thing you're gonna need is some money now, I have 8.3, but you do not need 8.3. So, once you've gotten a good amount of money, you're able to buy property. You're going to head over to Travel and Transport. I mean, Money and Services. Go to Foreclosure, Maze, Bank of the Los Santos, Foreclosure, whatever you call it. You know what I'm saying? The one with the foreclosure on it. Then, filter it out to Bunkers. And we got a ton of bunkers. And there's no bunkers in the city. There's, they're all going to be in Trevor's area. Blaine County or Polito. This is the cheapest one. Probably going for around a million ish. And in my opinion, when this game first came out, I bought the most expensive one, which is 2.3. And let me tell you, it is not worth it because it is not worth it anymore. You, you could buy the cheapest one and you'll still be okay. You know why? Because nowadays, bunkers are used for either glitches or. Just, you know, for spawn points. For spawn locations. Here's the thing. If you buy a bunker, you get access to this truck called an MOC. Mobile Operation Center. Which you find on Warstock Cash and Carry. Right here. And once you buy an... Once you buy a Mobile Operation Center, you can customize it. And if you go to Bay 2, there is a Weapon Workshop. Which you can add. So you're going to want to add that $245,000. Now remember, there's two methods. There's the bunker and MLC way. And the other way is the terabyte and a nightclub way. Personally, I like the bunker and MLC because you can research it. You can research the bunker instead of uh, get product. And what that can do is... It can give you explosive rounds on the shotgun and the sniper. And other stuff too. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to my interaction menu and request my MOC. Let's see where it spawns. Alright, not bad. And once you're here, there it doesn't matter if you enter with or without a car. Just get in there and go to the weapon workshop. And here we have it. Now, I'm going to tell you the guns you want to rank up. Because this does cost money. So, yeah. And I know not a lot of people have money. You know what I'm saying? So, the go-to guns that you're going to go to to rank up are... Well, welcome to the, candy the Special Carbine. The Bullpup Rifle if you're into the design. Personally, this gun is good, but I don't like the design of the gun. A pistol? Oh, I prefer the SNS pistol low key. I mean, check this out. Carbon rifle. The carbon rifle. No, wait. The carbon rifle and the combat MG. One, two, three, four. I don't know. Four. These are the four guns. These are the four guns you want to upgrade. Any other gun, you do not have to touch. Start off with the SNS Pistol Mark II. Extended clip. Flashlight up to you. Mounted scope looks cool. Shred of Modern Warfare 2. Muzzles. Suppressor. I'm going to... How... You always want to carry a gun with a suppressor for stealth missions. Trust me. Thank me later. And let's get a patriotic livery. Why not? With a nice... With a bold blue and white tint. I like it. Special carbine. Thank me later. You're going to be able to do every heist this week with all these weapons. Uh, extended clip. Flashlight, up to you. Holographic. 
These look hideous. Holographic looks clean in the first person. Take it from me. Split end muzzle break. They they all do the same amount of accuracy boost. They all I mean they all give the same amount of accuracy boost. It just look cool. It, it just whether it looks cool or not to you. Grips, barrels. Ah, eh. oh man, about the ball pop by accident. Whatever. Carbon rifle upgrade to the Mark II. Extended clips, grip, flashlight. Ah, see, I can't unlock the holographic site yet. I have to research it in the bunker. So, probably going to go with large scope. Sp split end muscle. I mean, muzzle. Got to research the heavy barrel. Cool. And we'll put a digital cam on it just because it looks like a gun straight up Modern Warfare 2. Why not? Combat L LMG. This is the best gun in the game. It's so good that I that it gets boring to use. For the scope, honestly, you need a large scope. This baby has range. You gotta research the barrel. And that's about it. Oh, how could I forget? The heavy sniper. Mark II. Now, this is why I said you should buy a bunker. You can put explosive rounds on this. You just have to research it in the bunker. Pretty crazy. Zoom scope. Let's do it. Suppressor on the sniper? I would never. And that seems to be about it. Once you've acquired these weapons, there should be no... Don't... You should be... Once... <laughs> I can't even talk right now. Pretty much, once you have all the all these weapons, you should be fine against PVE and PVP. Yeah. Now I'm gonna head over to ammunition so I can give an honorable mention because there there are there is one there there are there's a couple all, um <laughs> there's a couple weapons that are good but they didn't make the list. Well, the first thing you want to do is go to the armor and buy armor. Boom. The honorable mentions I was talking about are the Unholy Hellbringer, which looks crazy. I think I'm going to get in purple. And the Widowmaker, which is the minigun's best friend, long lost cousin. Let's get a matching purple. Why not? These guns do not shake. I'll show you what I mean. Watch this. They do not shake. They do not overheat. I can do this all day. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy almost got me. Yeah. This is hands down personally one of the best guns in the game in my opinion. But it's just so goofy and unrealistic. That I didn't want to include it. On top of that, it's also like 500k. So what do you expect? You get what you pay for, am I right? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. I hope this video made you better at GTA Online. Peace!